Okay guys, I'll just hit a couple of shots with that tempo and see if I can just hit a bunch of them and uh, with nice tempo. Grass is very wet here. Come on, James. Come on, nice sun. We don't really need to hit any more than that. That was Colin Montgomery. The clubs will be back in the bag and they'll be off. So that's what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Come on, James. Soft grip, soft. Just getting so much hang time. Swing feels loose because I've usually got a tight golf swing and it feels really loose. But it's not. Well, well it probably is. It's much looser than a normal golf swing. Come on. That's the one I want, guys. Wow. That's the one I want. That is so long. Just so long for me. And I'm hanging on to the club, I'm just hanging on to it. Just hanging on. Oh, that, oh, I haven't seen that shot before. I haven't seen that shot before. Oh, I haven't seen that. that, that's a turbo shot. I just haven't seen that shot before. I've never seen that shot in my life. Never seen that ball flight. That was just ridiculous. That, that was just something I've never seen before, guys. I don't know if I'm out of frame here. Maybe not. A couple this way. That was just unbelievable. There's another one. Okay, there's a bit of... A little bit of grass and a bit of water there on the board, but gee, that's gone a long way. Grass is so juicy here and of course as we know with channel lock it gets the club on the ground and picks up a bit of grass early because it's so shallow into the ball but that was uh, I mean that was that was just downtown that golf ball absolute downtown come on scale of one to ten minus two in the grip pressure okay but not enough uh, five o'clock nose come on come on gravity 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 what's unnerving me a bit guys is the club I usually feel I've got real control of the club because I hang on pretty tight and my swing is short and tight but this swing is sort of loose and the club is moving quicker and it unnerves me a bit but I mean the result is fantastic come on ball's just not moving and it ain't, I haven't got it ain't got the normal um, a draw that I have, it's just going dead straight Come on, see it hit, guys. See it hit. See how the club's coming through and hitting me in the back? It's just moving so quick. That's the perfect swing for me. That's what I'm going to work towards. Now the other swings were all okay, but I didn't have the gravity set. 
that one I really thought, James, what, what's not in it? And the gravity set wasn't there. And the gravity set is that all this weight, all this mass trying to get into the ground, that's what I call a gravity set. Just let it fall down there. Let it go down there. Just, just let it go down there. Guys, I had a bit of yogi shoulder sling in that, and that's why it was quick. Boy, that was, that ball was motoring. Whew. So there are variations. You can incorporate all types of things in here in terms of tempo. Now that, that's, a, that's a quick shoulder sling, but with, but with a soft shoulder and soft hands. But that was motoring. Come on, James. That's the first time I've actually had too little a grip and I'm, I actually managed to to maintain that real softness coming down and by the time I got to the ball there was just not enough pressure on it to hold the club on the ball. So I just got it thin. Still went alright, but it was just thin. Come on. One more. Just a few shots, guys. Just a few shots. Come on. Do a good job. That's perfect. Wow, it's a good shot. It's going to take me a while to get into it. Another one. That yeah, was a really good shot. But it's, it's not easy. It's absolutely not easy. Of course, it's not my normal tempo. Not a lot of negative luck. Come on. Okay, guys, just a couple of shots. I'll have a look at that myself today. Uh, in terms of practice session, that's, that's I'd rate that about a 75%. Uh, some really good shots in there, but most of them were, were fighting a timing issue and fighting the confidence of that grip. But, I mean, they'd, they'd still be playable, but they weren't as good as the... Um, as the super shots. Guys, I'll um, I just hit a couple of drives. This will be interesting. This will be interesting. Interesting shaft in here guys, only made a hundred of these. They were going to bring them out but they would have cost, I believe, someone told me they would have cost probably about 650 bucks each. So the market was limited. Just amazing, when you look at it you can't believe what it looks like inside. It's got, oh, amazing. Almost a transparent shaft. Guys, it's never coming down. It's just never, ever coming down. Oh, wow. Wow. Boy. That's just fantastic. Just motor. That's different flight, guys. <clears throat> that is just, I've got to hit some more. That is just different flight. I don't get that flight with a driver. I do not get that flight with a driver. Oh. 
I mean, they're just bowling alley stuff. And, you know, and of course I've got a quick ignition going on there, clearly. See if I can just make that ignition move a little bit slower. But the grip pressure is really light. Oh. I just nutted that. Got this set down a bit, this is down at about off that back foot it's set down too low. I had someone hitting it yesterday. It's a real power hitter and I just knocked the loft off. It's down at down about 8.5. Um, I knocked it down because uh, he's a power hitter and he was just hitting the ball too high. And he wanted to hit this driver and I haven't put it back up. Well, I mean, it's still great. I mean, it's running like the... Like the bilio. Come on, James, come on. That'd be good driving at the US Open. I could put another 100 yards in length on it because they wouldn't miss any fairways. I say the, the 275, 80 yards, the, 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 the landing area is uh, 29 yards wide. It's not very wide, is it? And then the rough is that long. Come on, Jase. Gee, that was a good shot, that last one. Come on. Oh, that's the strongest drive I've ever hit. Ever in my life. That felt like the face on the club was caving in. My goodness, my goodness. If I can lengthen that backswing a little bit. That was just fantastic shot. Fantastic flight for me. I can just load that a little bit longer. Just didn't take that back far enough and hit a real hard power draw. It started at probably about you know ten yards, twelve yards right, and it just you know, had a real hard power draw on it back to the centre. Okay, just let that backswing flow a little bit longer. Come on. Like that. Never going to come down. Gee, that's good height for an 8.5. Wow. Wow. This old uh, slider is one of the tour issue prototypes and it's, just, it's got a different uh, hosel in it so it's got a different adjustment on it to the normal ones so you can actually get it down a little bit and it's a bit flatter than the normal drivers. That's why I like it, it's old but it's great. Okay one more, come on, hammer this Jase, come on. It's really nice, I really enjoy that.
This shaft was made by a company called Comtech. Never heard of them. I tried to get a couple and just can't find them anywhere. I think they gave a couple to Bubba when they first came out. But Ping wouldn't, Ping wouldn't buy them. Make the golf club too expensive. That's the way I want to hit the golf ball. Wow. I've got to just hit these guys, that's just fantastic. That's just, that's the ultimate negative load and uh, paintbrush and everything else, all, all incorporated in one. Just fantastic. Every one of these drivers has gone, there's two markers out here about 30 yards apart, it's just straight down the centre of them. Well, maybe if, every shot's right of centre, but when, the, the worst would have only been 10 yards. The rest are all, all in that little corridor. I hit one little push, but it wasn't bad. That's the best drive I've ever hit, ever, 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 ever. Oh, it's a different feeling, guys. It's a different feeling. Now, what I have to do is I have to intellectualise better what's going on here, because, you know, to explain this... At, at the level of explanation that's going to help everybody it's going to take a bit of doing the feeling here is quite different quite profound and um, it's going to take some explaining okay last ball come on JH try and what we say here in the JH practice team we're fooling around break a shaft that means you're really going to load it just load it Johnny Come on, Johnny, load it. Oh, look, guys, it's pulled me right through. Still going, still going. Okay, guys, that's just a lot of fun. Unbelievable. So it's got some potential, but, you know, I've got to explain all this. Yeah. They're just a little, incre a little, you know, uh, little changes and little bits that we can put in the channel lock that'll just suit us. We can just try things. Because there's something, keep trying something and it just clicks. Yeah, that's for me. That suits me. And I'll tell you what, that really suits me. Okay guys, well, uh, might do some more tomorrow. How good were those drives? Yeah, I know. Oh, they were perfect. <laughs>